Welcome to In 5 Minutes. The agenda of this clip is to understand the expression of VIL for a CMOS inverter. Okay, let's get started. On the left hand side of the screen, you can see a CMOS inverter. I've also labeled the source and the drain terminals. And we have also written down the equation of ID in cutoff region, in linear region, and in the saturation region. Along with that, for an NMOS and my PMOS transistor, I have also written down what is a VGS and VDS by looking at the diagram. We have already discussed all this in the previous clips, so we are not going into the details of what is present on the left hand side. Previously, we have also seen for VIL, if a CMOS inverter is present, we need to identify the region of operation for my NMOS transistor and my PMOS transistor. We already saw that my NMOS transistor for VIL operates in saturation region, whereas my PMOS transistor operates in linear region. Let's equate the value of the current flowing through the NMOS with the value of the current flowing through the PMOS. NMOS is in saturation, so let's write the equation of current in saturation region, Kn by 2, Vgs, N for NMOS, minus Vt, the whole square. Let's write the equation of current for PMOS in linear region. So Kp by 2 twice Vgs for PMOS minus Vt. This is P, this is N because for NMOS and PMOS we use that suffix. This into Vds for PMOS minus Vds square. Now let's substitute the corresponding Vgs and Vds by looking on the left hand side of the screen for NMOS and PMOS respectively. That gives the expression as Kn by 2. Vgs for NMOS is nothing but Vn minus Vtn the whole square equal to Kp by 2 twice Vgs for PMOS is nothing but Vn minus Vdd minus Vtp VDSP is nothing but V out minus VDD for PMOS minus V out minus VDD the whole square. Let's call this equation star. Now we know that in order to identify VIL, this is a point where my slope is equal to minus 1. That means my dV out by dV in is equal to minus 1. And we need to substitute the star equation with respect to V in. Okay, let's quickly do that and write the corresponding equation. So we will differentiate with respect to V in. And we know that dV out by dV in is equal to minus 1. Let's do the differentiation equal to Kn V in minus Vt equal to Kp V in minus Vdd minus Vtp for PMOS into dV out by dV in. This is the first part plus V out minus VDD. This is the second term minus V out minus VDD into dV out by dV in. And this is my third term. Let's substitute dV out by dV in equal to minus 1 and V in equal to VIL. Let's quickly do that. That leaves our equation nothing but Kn Vil minus Vt, this is for NMOS, equal to Kp twice V out minus Vil plus Vtp minus Vdd. So on rearranging the terms, we will get the value of Vil. Let's quickly do that. Let's rewrite the previous equation and let's rearrange the term to get the value of Vil. This is my previous expression. On rearranging, I'll get the value of my VIL twice V out plus VTP minus VDD plus KR into VTN. This entire thing upon 1 plus KR, where KR is nothing but KN by KP. Now we have got an equation, let's call this as double star, VIL in terms of V out. If we solve star and double star equation simultaneously, star equation also had V in, which was nothing but VIL and V out as one of the term as the two terms. 
and this VIL equation also has VIL and V out. These two are nothing but the two equations with two unknowns. If you solve it simultaneously, you will get the value of VIL and you will also get the corresponding value of V out. Hope you have understood how to find the expression for VIL. Stay tuned because in further clip, we are going to understand how to find the value of VIH. I mean the expression for VIH. Thank you very much.